the veterans, those on Social Security, Supplemental Security Income, and those receiving SSDI have received a fantastic update. It has been announced by the Social Security Administration SSA that a special direct deposit of $4,100 will be made available to persons who satisfy the qualifying requirements. This video has all of the information that you require in order to make an informed decision about this offer. In this section, we will go over who is eligible to receive the deposit, how to apply for it, and when the funds will be available in your account. In addition to providing answers to some of the most frequently asked questions as they pertain to this special offer, we will also discuss the potential impact that this deposit may have on the benefits that you already enjoy. Learnings that can be acquired the participants who are entitled to receive the direct deposit of $4,100 are determined by the conditions for participation. Guidelines for submitting an application for this limited time promotion are outlined here. Making a payment plan and determining the anticipated arrival time for your deposit are both important steps effects on the advantages that are already present make sure you are aware of the effect that this deposit will have on the benefits that you are already receiving from the Veterans Affairs VA and Social Security Disability Insurance SSDI. Within the section devoted to frequently asked questions you will find answers to any questions or issues you may have regarding this offer. A significant amount of discussion and uh, attention has been generated around the country as a result of the potential increase of $4,100 for recipients of Social Security SSI, SSDI and VA benefits. In the event that this substantial increase is implemented, it has the potential to have a significant impact on the lives of millions of people in the United States who are financially dependent on the programs that are administered by the federal government. Uh, there has been discussion over the possibility of increasing the benefit levels in order to keep up with the rising cost of living, despite the fact that there has been no formal announcement regarding this topic, in addition to the typical monthly income of approximately. $1,700. Beneficiaries of Social Security retirement would get an additional $341.67 per month as a result of this increase. This is in addition to the current amount. Beneficiaries of Social Security Income SSI who typically get lower payouts may be subject to a more severe impact as a consequence of the increase, which may result in a 32% increase in their existing benefits. If the Veterans Administration, VA or Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, were to provide disability compensation or pension payments to several veterans, their financial circumstances would also greatly improve. This proposed increase is accompanied by a complex background that includes a number of factors including the rising cost of living, concerns regarding the inadequacy of existing benefits and the potential effects of economic stimulation. In addition to the ongoing political conversation on the necessity of providing assistance to low-income neighborhoods and reducing income inequality. On the other hand, before such a change could be put into reality, there would be a great deal of challenges to surmount, the most significant of which would be the legislative process and the absence of financial resources. Either new sources of revenue or considerable modifications in policy would be required to accommodate the increase given that. Social Security and Medicare are currently experiencing budgetary difficulties. In the event that it is adopted, it may be implemented gradually over the course of several years rather than all at once. For various categories of recipients, the effects of this potential increase would manifest themselves in a variety of different ways. It is possible that retirees will be able to utilize it to pay for house modifications or to pay for health care, which is becoming increasingly expensive. The additional funds could be utilized by people who have impairments to cover expenses such as the cost of personal care aids, specialized medical equipment, or transportation to and from medical appointments. It is possible that the most significant advantage will accrue to older citizens with low incomes and recipients of SSI who may be able to completely transcend poverty. Increased availability of housing that is within one's financial means, educational options and occupational training. Uh, there is also the possibility that the financial circumstances of surviving wives and children who are receiving benefits could dramatically improve. It is possible that an increase of $4,100 will have wider ranging economic impacts than just on the recipients themselves. The recipients of the stimulus payments may be able to stimulate local economies through their spending which may result in a rise in the number of jobs that are available as well as the overall pace of economic growth there is a possibility that some users will reduce their utilization of other forms of public assistance, which would be a potential offset to the probable expense of the benefit increase. If people were more financially stable, it might be possible for them to achieve better health outcomes and reduce their overall health care costs over time. It is possible that the housing market will see the effects of the program if some of the recipients are in a better financial position to purchase a property. In the event that the adjustment were to be implemented, it is quite probable that all current recipients of the programs that would be affected would be eligible for the raise. Nonetheless, there would be debates regarding means testing or other conditions. It is likely that the eligibility requirements for each program would continue to be the same after fresh applications are considered. In the absence of new measures to either increase revenue or lower spending, the budget of the program would suffer a significant blow, which would exacerbate the depletion of the trust funds that are held by Social Security. It would be necessary to either reallocate funds or increase the amount of money that the government receives in order to raise the payout levels for Social Security and Veterans Affairs, both of which are funded by general federal resources. 
when contrasted with previous benefit increases in the typical annual cost of living adjustments collars, a flat raise of $4,100 would stand out as particularly noteworthy. When compared to other suggestions for boosting benefits that are more specialized, its inherent simplicity and general application stand out as particularly noteworthy. The idea is expected to be criticized by a number of people, including conservatives who are concerned about the deficit in the budget and the program's ability to continue operating in the long run. The proponents of means testing who could argue for more precise raises, as well as others who are worried about the concept of fairness between generations and the possibility of inflationary forces. If the possibility of such an increase were to be seriously considered, there would be a number of practical challenges that would need to be conquered before it could be put into reality. It would be necessary to make judgments concerning the timing, whether or not to phase in the increase and how to alter link programs in. In order to prevent beneficiaries from losing their eligibility for other essential services to which they are entitled, it would be necessary to carry out a substantial amount of outreach and communication as well. Not to mention the considerably better computer systems at the federal level and the extensive training that people at relevant agencies have received. It is possible that the potential of a $4,100 increase for beneficiaries of Social Security SSI, SSSDI and VA benefits might be a game changer for the social safety net in the United States of America. However, there are a, a lot of financial and policy concerns around the possibility of such an increase. In light of the ongoing discussions, it is absolutely necessary for all of the parties concerned to have an informed conversation about the benefits and drawbacks of this new course of action, taking into consideration both the immediate and the long-term repercussions of this decision. Beneficiaries should continue to keep themselves informed, but they should also plan with the awareness that the magnitude of their benefits is currently predetermined at a particular level. Uh, they have the option of working with financial planners or benefits consultants to receive individualized assistance. It does. No matter what happens with this particular plan, the fact that we are still discussing the challenges that people of advanced age, people with disabilities and veterans face demonstrates how essential it is to continue discussing how essential it is to provide these groups with financial stability and respect without fail. If a $4,100 increase were to be enacted for Social Security SSI, SSDI and VA program members, it would have far-reaching repercussions that would extend beyond the immediate financial comfort that recipients would experience. As a consequence of this, people all around the country would begin discussing social safety nets and the ways in which they may assist the most vulnerable individuals when going through difficult financial circumstances. One of the factors that have to be taken into consideration is the impact on other people's willingness to work. As a result of such a significant increase in benefits, some individuals may experience feelings of discouragement, which may dissuade them from seeking employment or remaining in the labor force. Advocates, on the other hand, would claim that this is not the case for a significant number of recipients, particularly those who are elderly or who suffered from physical limitations. Due to the fact that it would give a more stable financial foundation, the increase might actually make it possible for them to work part-time or explore entrepreneurial endeavors. Taking into account the potential impact on other social efforts is another key fact to take into account. For instance, what kind of an effect would this increase have on housing assistance, Medicaid and food stamp? Programs like the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, SNAP. It is imperative that legislation